It's coming. Hey, what's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about Lucy model. These guys have been in the news recently because of the fact that uh, they want to go public through a Spark. Right now, there's no confirmation of that information, but I want to just make sure that you guys are aware and have it on your radar. So that's what we're going to cover in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So Lucid Model is uh, one of a luxury brand um, electric vehicle manufacturer. They are not yet in production, but supposedly people are touting these guys as uh, no, the next Tesla or the Tesla killer. Uh, as a matter of fact, personally, when I look at the designs of the, the cars, um, uh, Lucid cars, I really like them. They are appealing to me to look uh, like real luxury compared to uh, Tesla. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I love Tesla, what they're doing. But when it comes to their designs, I still really have some questions. So when I look at Lucy, I really do enjoy the look of the car. It really looks luxurious. It's not just um, just word of mouth, but you can see it. Now, this is something that you can drive in a pull up. You say, yeah, this looks good. Because if you take the Tesla Model Y, I mean, look at like It just can't even stand up to this. This is beautiful engineering. Uh, that said, uh, well, the, again, the reason why I wanted to bring this uh, to you guys is because um, if you guys can see here, most recently in the news, Lucy Motors was actually in conversation with um, Churchill uh, Spark to take them public. So what I didn't quite see is when I looked online, did research and, and, and try to get through all my sources, none of this news was actually confirmed. And again, uh, unless um, uh, Churchill Capital is doing a good job as well as people over at Lucy are doing a, an excellent job at keeping this a secret. I don't think that this is uh, yet a goal. So um, last week this happened and the price of the stock just went crazy. So you can see here, uh, this is Churchill Capital. If you can see this one week, see how the price of the stock just jumped. Um, you know, it went from right here, trading about 18 and some change, 17, and then squeezed all the way to 23. Um, and closing the week. And this is again based on the fact that they're anticipating that they, they want to go public. I know for sure Lucy want to go public because um, they're currently building their facility, manufacturing facility over in Arizona. And uh, the way their CEO, who actually is uh, an alum from Tesla, this guy worked for Tesla, so he knew he, he knows the ins and outs and all the mistakes that he saw with Tesla. He came over here with Lucid and perfected those mistakes. Again, that's just my personal observation. That's why you see the designs of the cars are even better. And right here, they are claiming that the Lucid Air, which is going to be the first one that they're going to start manufacturing, and they anticipate that they want to manufacture or produce at least 7,000 of this uh, this year yet. So and you see right here, price is starting at about $70,000, and projected range is 406 miles which kind of compares a little bit to the Tesla cars and then horsepower is 480. So, I mean, it's got, it's got some, some juice to it. So uh, what I anticipate again is that these guys are going to go public. How they go public is the question right now. It's obvious that sparks will probably be the best bet for them to go public because again, the company is um, not profitable. They, they don't have any source of revenue. As a matter of fact, they're burning money through R and D and development and building their facilities. So the best route would be to go through a spark where they can raise enough capital to really start producing um, the seven thousand cars that they anticipate producing this year. So, and uh, the one thing that I love about the CEO talking about their, their approach to manufacturing, they're not going to go out and build a gigafactory like Tesla does because that takes a lot of upfront capital, right? So what they want to do is they're building it in modules. So they'll build a small facility to be able to produce, let's say, 7,000 cars and then start scaling that as they go. So they're not going to build something that they don't need now, but when they need it, they can expand it and go from just producing 7,000 cars to if they can produce over uh, 40,000 or whatever number they want to. So 
And they also have plans to start producing um, SUVs by 2023. They call it the Project uh, Gravity. That would be the, the name of the SUV. And I don't see, they don't have any pictures on their website of that yet. But Project Gravity is their SUV that they plan on working on. And that one, they anticipated a release date would be 2023. So that's still a long ways ago uh, from, uh, uh, from now. So again, guys, uh, just to give you guys some context here, uh, Churchill Capital is a spark that is supposedly in talks right now because there's really no confirmation. They have been tight-lipped. Nobody wants to say anything. So supposedly in talks with uh, Lucy to take them public. But again, I want to just let you guys know, don't look at this video and go put money, go dump a ton of money in Churchill Capital. So be smart about it. Again, for me, uh, I, I'm, I was hoping, that's why I even delayed doing this video because I was hoping that uh, I'll get some confirmation to that. When I'm telling you guys, like, go buy, um, this it really, it does make sense. But as of right now, that confirmation is still not there. Like I said, I've reached out to people, checked, nothing is showing. But here's one other uh, thing that I really believe that uh, these guys are ready. They are, have a position to hire an investor relations. So uh, analysts, why would you, if you're not a public traded company or any of that stuff, why would you want investor relation analysts? I don't know. Again, this is just my speculation. It might be a lousy speculation, but I think they are getting ready to go public. And so putting just the groundwork to get that uh, in place. In in my personal opinion, I think there would be a lot of SPACs that we want to take them public because um, of how good of a job this company has done so far in perfecting the designs and uh, getting their cars ready uh, for manufacturing. So Again, that is something that I personally, it, I'm looking forward to. So if you would ask me right now that um, the closest thing to Tesla in the United States, as far as electric vehicles goes in terms of uh, prestige, in terms of design, in terms of uh, ready for market, I would say Lucid is right up there uh, behind Tesla looking to take up some market shares. Uh, but are they going to be uh, right off the bat and be Tesla? No, because Tesla is doing other things that Lucy is not doing. So uh, Tesla not only produces car, but they have a battery facilities. They produce solar panels. They produce storage, um, uh, uh, mega pack storage for, for energy. So Tesla has some diversification in their portfolio that really gives them a strong hold in this uh, EV space, whereas Lucid is coming in right now, their main focus is on cars. So if they can focus on cars and beat Tesla in just the car space, well, I, I think that would be a smart move. Don't try to compete with Tesla in all the other things that Tesla has going. So if you're asking yourself right now, should I buy Chachi Capital? I would say proceed with caution. Hopefully this week we should get some news about this particular stack. And if we don't get any news, then I'll say just pump the brakes um, and wait for that confirmation. Um, if you're looking to get in, uh, maybe pick up a few shares. So that way, uh, if the news comes out that for real, they're going out with, the, you know, they're going public with Church Hill and then you can average your way uh, up. But if, if the news comes out that they are not, then you can just liquidate and get out. So that would be my strategy. So definitely approach this one with huge caution because most in most cases, people want to announce and make the news so they can raise a ton of money. And these guys are holding back. So I would am mind anticipating that these guys have, they're talking to other sparks and right now they haven't decided on who they want to go with. That's just my speculation. So let me know in the comment section what you think. Again, I love Lucid and I want to own a piece of the company. As soon as they go public or announce they're going to go public, I want to jump in and have a little bit of it. Um, because me, to me, they fall in the same rooms as Tesla as far as EV cars. So let me know what you think. Did you already buy uh, Churchill Capital? If not, are you planning on buying it? Again, let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And as always, guys, always do your homework. Don't be a greedy savage. And stay motivated.